this episode of Building Men, The Foundations of Masculinity. Welcome to the Building Men Podcast. I'm your host, Dennis Meralda. Building Men is geared toward helping you become the most extraordinary version of yourself, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. I'm really excited about this episode titled Foundations of Masculinity. This is going to be the first episode of six in this series about masculinity. I'll start by asking this, what is masculinity? Maleness and masculinity are not synonymous in my opinion. Maleness or being a male is you were born with an X and a Y chromosome. It determines your gender, your physical traits associated with being male. You were born with junk between your legs and you will have a deeper voice. You'll be able to grow a beard. You're a male, but that does not make you a man. So masculinity, what is it? Ask 10 people about masculinity. Ask 10 people to define masculinity. You'll probably get 10 different ideas or opinions about what it means. I looked it up on dictionary.com and masculinity, they say, is the quality of manliness. Habits and traits that society considers to be appropriate for a man. The Latin root of masculinity is from masculus or, quote, worthy of a male, unquote. So even the dictionary has it kind of vague. Habits and traits that society considers to be appropriate for a man. What does that mean? What does society consider to be appropriate for a man? I think the problem is so many people are going through high school, college years, even into their 20s, and they're searching for an idea of masculinity. And I think what happens is young men, and as people get older, they get lost seeking approval, and they really can't get out of their own way. So the way I'm going to define masculinity is I'm going to start by telling you what it isn't. There's a book called Season of Life. I probably read this book 10 times. I would highly recommend it. It was written by a gentleman named Jeffrey Marks. I'll talk more about the book, I'm sure, in later episodes. But something that he addresses in the book is this idea of false masculinity, what masculinity is not. So he titles false masculinity. There's like three categories that come along with false masculinity. And when you think about maybe your own experiences in childhood growing up, the first way, and I'll speak for myself, the first thing that I considered as far as masculinity was concerned, it had to do with athletic ability and strength. So the, the kids that were faster, stronger, they were better competitively than others, you held them in a higher regard and they became more masculine than others because of their athletic ability. Fast forward a little bit to high school, maybe even to college years, maybe even beyond for some of you out there. It became about sexual conquest. The number of girls that you can be with or get with, have sex with in a short period of time, that was some way equated with manliness or with masculinity. I remember hearing stories of kids, maybe they were a freshman in high school and they got laid and you would think, oh, he is the man. Somehow because he had sex when he was 15 years old, that equated to a higher level of masculinity than others. Or he had sex with a certain number of girls during that time and that meant that he was more masculine than others. And then finally, the third idea or the third, I don't know, false pretense of masculinity is about financial power. So those who maybe have a job where they have enough money to have the nicest house in the block and the fastest car and all the toys they can possibly want to, to show off. And in some way that would equate to being more masculine. So I'm not saying you shouldn't push yourself Physically, yeah, absolutely, I, you, you should absolutely do that. You should try to make money, 100%. Totally agree with that. Make money to take care of yourself and your family. But that doesn't make you a man. Just because you're a better athlete, just because you have 
more sex when you're in high school or whatever and just because maybe you make more money that doesn't mean you are more masculine or you are masculine and here's why because all of that can be taken away from you every one of those things you can lose the ability to do or you can lose outright so what is masculinity what does it mean what are the foundations of masculinity to me there are five foundations of masculinity and they are as follows number one is your purpose in life what drives you and I'll make this clear your purpose is not a relationship your purpose is not being a boyfriend a husband a father a friend your purpose cannot leave you or be taken from you it has to come from within so what is your purpose that is 100% up to you for me my purpose kind of starts with what I am doing right now my purpose is to help men become the most kick-ass version of themselves as possible and I want to add value to the world even if it is in only some small way I'll paraphrase a quote from Mark Manson he's the author of two books that I've read one is the subtle art of not giving a fuck and the other one is everything is fucked a book about hope when people feel like they have no sense of direction no purpose in their life it's because they don't know what's important to them they don't know what their values are and when you don't know what your values are then you're essentially taking on other people's values and living other people's priorities instead of your own this is a one-way ticket to an unhealthy relationship remember back if you listened to previous podcasts about the idea of fear and our responses to fear was fight, flight, freeze, and fawn. This speaks to that fawn response. So if you haven't listened to that episode about fear, go back and take a listen to that. Discovering one's purpose in life essentially boils down to finding those one or two things that are bigger than yourself and bigger than those around you. It's not about some great achievement but about finding a way to spend your limited amount of time well. We have a finite number of days here. Do what inspires you to get off the couch and act. Take time to think beyond yourself and to think greater than yourself. So the first foundation of masculinity, in my opinion, is a purpose. The second is relationships. I categorize relationships in three ways. First and foremost, the relationship you have with yourself. More than any other relationship, this has to be the most important one. I might get pushback for this, but I don't care. I, I really believe that the most important relationship you have to have is with yourself. If you're going to be the best you can for others and other relationships you have, you better damn well have a good relationship with yourself first. You have to have the ability to look deep, to criticize, to self-reflect. I think of the relationship you have with yourself almost as a metacognition. It's the process of recognizing and understanding your own thinking and your own learning and having that idea about yourself, who you are, what you want to be. The second type of relationship is with your loved ones, your family, your significant other, your girlfriend, your wife, your kids, maybe your co-workers. And in that relationship with loved ones, you have to have this sense of strength, but also the sense of vulnerability. The third relationship uh, that I think is a foundation is with mentors, with scholars, with those who can help you grow as a man, give you some kind of a thirst for knowledge and understanding, help you to be inquisitive, have a growth mindset. The idea of feedback from others it can really help you learn to grow, to improve, and it inspires you to be better. Now, these might be people that you know and have uh, rapport with and that you see. It could be someone that you read their blog or you follow them in, on some platform but they inspire you listen to them on audiobooks you read material from them but it's someone that you you can gain knowledge from the third foundation of masculinity is accountability turning the little things into the big things accountability to yourself to your loved ones to your career maybe your community and maybe even the world take Take a step back and think about all the ways that you're accountable. And it's basically looking yourself in the mirror every day and knowing what you have to get done and getting it done. The fourth foundational characteristic is resiliency. Being able to fall down and 
pick yourself back up again. Go through a challenging time and not let it destroy you, but make it something that can empower you and make you stronger. The idea of perseverance. So the fourth foundational idea or characteristic is resiliency. And finally, the fifth one, in my opinion, is contribution. Paying it forward. I talked before about the idea of having some type of a mentor or scholar, someone that can inspire you to be better. Well, this one kind of brings it full circle. Think about contribution as you helping make the next generation stronger, giving your ideas or something that you know about, giving something of yourself to make someone else's life easier to make someone else better. So you're paying it forward. You're kind of pushing the idea of masculinity along and helping other people grow from it. This is coaching. This is mentoring. This is teaching, but helping another person, another group of people become better than they are. So in the next five episodes, I'll go into greater detail about each of the foundations of masculinity that I spoke about today. And I'll talk to you about actionable steps to make positive changes in each one of these areas. So again, the five foundational characteristics, in my opinion, are your purpose, relationships, accountability, resiliency, and contribution. And if you think about every one of these things comes from within you. None of these things can be taken away. They're not physical traits. They are inside of you. If you've enjoyed the material that we've covered here on Building Men, I would ask you to consider sharing it with someone who you think might benefit from hearing the messages. I would also ask you consider writing a review on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify of Building Men. Follow me on Instagram at building.men. And then if you have any questions or comments, or even if you want to let me know how you define masculinity, email me at buildingmencoach at gmail.com. I'll see you next time on Building Men. Thank <laughs> you.